Hello everybody. Once again, I am here with you for the new session, uh, which is related with the, your uh, solid state physics. And basically, we are looking for the uh, bondings or the bonds as far as the solids are going to be concerned, how they are bonded with each other. And in which we have seen the uh, number one, that is the ionic bonds are to be there. Now here we are for the today, join here for the covalent bonds. What exactly meaning to be as a covalent bond? Uh, for to see this, uh, what exactly meaning to be as a covalent bond, the basically every time when the two atoms are coming closer to each other, definitely the bonding part is to be concerned. Here the covalent bond is going to be formed wherever an equal amount, uh, equal uh, sharing of electrons are to be uh, there in between the two atoms are to be there that means if suppose the two atoms of the same <coughs> are to be there and uh, having the same one electron deficiency for the both of the atoms that means they required one electron to complete their octet rule or likewise so both needed one electron to complete their uh, stability or to form the octet rule that is 2 8 18 is to be there so in these cases if the such type of the atoms are come closer to each other and they are forming uh, overlapping each other they form a uh, orbit and that is to be as an uh, forms uh, that is to be as an uh, uh, form a bond which is called to be as in your covalent bonds are to be there and uh, as far as this uh, type of the bonds are going to be concerned they are just like a sharing that is the both are giving and taking one electron and uh, uh, this overlapping is formed to be as an pair bond is to be there and uh, such type of the particularly bond which is going to be formed it is nothing but to be your covalent bond is to be there that means an equal sharing of electron between the two atoms will form this covalent bond and the octet rule should be going to be followed in this case as far as the covalent bonds between the similar or dissimilar atoms are going to be there having the deficiency of equal amount of electrons are to be there that means to be both these electrons uh, sorry both these atoms should have the deficiency of the similar amount of electrons are to be there in their outermost shell the, if the requirement of the electron is going to be one then the pairing is to be there in between this and this pairing will form a covalent bond on uh, the such type of the bond which is going to be octet rule is going to be followed when we are looking in detail as far as the covalent bonds are to be there in this case basically i will reduce this to see it clearly so in this case uh, when we are looking for the part where it is to be as an you are uh, basically to be where it is to be as an uh, two atoms of the deficiency of one electron is to be there <coughs> in the same case we are looking for here are the two atoms and uh, they both need one electron to complete their octet rule or fulfill them and the uh, electric uh, uh, electronic uh, shell start as an overlapping in between them and each electron transfers its one electron unpaired electron to the common space from this one electron is going to be shared from this atom the one electron is going to be shared and both are sharing one electron that is to be pairing with the particularly one electron is to be there so both are giving one electron in that case and the pairing is going to be occur and in such a way the outermost shell are having only one electron in that uh, particular both the atoms and this sharing or this overlapping or the pairing contains the electrons are to be there and uh, basically they will sharing of electrons is to be as an uh, effective as far as the opposite spin that is the positive negative has to be there and the atoms attracts to each other and forms a bond and that is nothing but to be called your covalent bond is to be there if you look at very important factor in this case both the atoms should have one electron in their outermost shell then this is what the case we are looking for when the two atoms and their outermost shell are having the one electron to fulfill their octet they need one electron that's why when they come closer to each other 
they pair with the in the uh, free space one electron from this atom one electron from this atom and this pairing overlapping forms a particular bond and that is nothing but to be your covalent bond is to be there and this type of the bonds are having the larger or basically form in the valence uh, due to this valence electron is to be there and this uh, strongness is going to be there against uh, uh, what uh, how amount uh, how much amount of electrons are there in the outermost shell and this bonding is to be as an occurs in due to the valence electron and that's why sometimes it is called to be as an your uh, basically valence bonds are also to be there because this is all happening due to the valence electron and uh, which is going to be there in the outermost shell of the atom is to be there orbit is to be there and uh, due to that this type of the bonds are also called to be as an valence bonds are to be there so basically the same thing we have discussed that what is mean to be as an covalent bond is to be there now here is the one example for what exactly how it is to be as an your covalent bond is going to be there for the <coughs> cl that is chlorine is to be there as uh, the formation of the covalent bonds as if you look at this uh, uh, case where it is to be as an example for the cl it is one electron from this cl and the atom and one electron from this cl atom is to be there the, these are the two one pair electrons are to be there when they come closer to each other they will form a particularly such type of the sharing is to be there shared pair of electrons are to be there and due to that what will happen that this sharing will gives you nothing but to be the completeness for this particular chlorine and the formation of the covalent bond between the two chlorine atoms is to be there and the cl2 molecule is to be illustrated or shown here in this case in the same case if you look at here is the one covalent bond is going to be formed and the, they completed their uh, octet in that case is to be there but if you look at the another case where it is to be shown here below that is the water molecule is to be there if you look at the two one oxygen which is to be as and having the six electrons in their outermost shell that is uh, this oxygen is having the six electron so it requires two electrons to complete it octet and if the two hydrogen atoms are coming that is to be hydrogen is having one electron in the outermost shell as a valence electron is to be there so if i will take the two electrons uh, sorry two hydrogen uh, molecules that means the two electrons are there if they are going to be pair with this or when they are coming closer to each other they will form a covalent bond but here if you look at the case in the previous one in the cl2 or the cl molecule or uh, the only one electron uh, one covalent bond is going to be formed but if you look at here the two h molecules uh, hydrogen molecules are to be there and they are forming a covalent bond with the oxygen that is the two covalent bonds are going to be formed here and due to that the whatever be the bonding is to be there it is having the equal strength as far as the two covalent bonds are going to be formed important thing is that uh, the completing the octet rule or form uh, following that octet rule they will fulfill this uh, stable themselves either the hydrogen or the your oxygen is also to be there if you look at this uh, case uh, in the same case here it is to be as an 1h and this is another h so in this case 1h they are already this h is having one electron when they pair with this oxy, uh, oxygen the outermost shell will get the two electrons in this h for the first hydrogen atom uh, molecule is to be there and for the second hydrogen that is to be as an it will pair with the another oxygen molecule and this pairing will be giving two electrons in the outer motion that means both the hydrogens are going to be fulfilled but completing their octet but what happens for this oxygen for the oxygens already there are six electrons in the outer motion it collects or it takes one from this sharing with the one hydrogen atom another uh, electron from the another hydrogen atom and that means 6 plus 2 it will comes to be as an 8 that means 
this oxygen is also to be completed with the octet rule and that's why the both are going to be stable or all are going to be the stable the whatever the covalent bonds are going to form the strength is going to be distributed equally as the one uh, covalent bond is to be there it is strongly bonded as the two covalent bonds are to be there the strength is going to be distributed equally in the two covalent bonds if there are three covalent bonds are to be there the strength is also going to be distributed in the three covalent bonds are to be there so this is all about what the examples exactly it is to be there but there is one another uh, part where it is to be as a covalent bond is going to be formed so in this case whenever the for the stable covalent bond a uh, very important factor is to be there the net potential energy is going to be the decreases and the participating orbitals are to be very much important in this case as far as these pa uh, participating orbitals are to be as an uh, very much important they are to be uh, oriented in the direction uh, directionally they should be oriented then the, and the whatever the covalent bond is going to be the stable in that case is to be there as far as the covalent bonds are going to be concerned the p orbitals are much more uh, directional rather than the symmetric uh, 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 orbitals are to be there and the participating such type of the atoms uh, have the valence state and that's why it is also called to be as in valence bonds are also to be there so this is what the covalent bonds are going to be formed and how they are strong uh, they, as the the directionality uh, orbital uh, directionality is to be there as far as the participating orbitals are to be there and then it gives you the strengthening this particular bond is to be there so as far as the diamond is going to be concerned it is also uh, part of this uh, uh, this atom also contains the covalent bond as far as the carbon is to be concerned it is having the four electrons in their outer most shell but it is uh, a little bit in a different fashion if you look at this case as far as the part where the diamond structure is to be there if you look at the directional properties of, um, of the covalent bonds are to be their carbon atoms uh, electronic configuration if you look at it is just like uh, this one and the directionality proportion uh, directionality uh, property is going to be uh, giving the strength very much as far as the carbon atom is going to be concerned the electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 and 2p2 is to be there so as these uh, electrons are going to be outermost shell are to be unpaired electrons in the outermost shell are to be there as good as four electrons there no doubt as far as the how many valence electrons are there that much amount of the covalent bonds it will form in that case so but the important factor in this case as far as the two states are to be there that is 2s and 2p states are to be there which are going to be very nearer as far as energy levels are going to be concerned the energy difference in between this 2s and 2p is very much small and uh, due to that these uh, two electrons from the 2p are going to be transferred uh, let us uh, it is going to be one of the electron of the carbon uh, is going to be transferred from 2s to 2p state is to be there and uh, due to that what will happen this electronic configuration uh, goes uh, into modified stage or changed likewise this that is 1s2 2s1 uh, one from this is going to be transferred to the 2p and uh, 2px1 2py1 and 2pz1 is to be there here it is written in the fashion of uh, three dimensional cases to be there and uh, hence the c atom or sorry carbon atom has uh, four unpaired covalent uh, uh, electrons unpaired electrons in their outermost shell no doubt the four coval uh, outermost electron uh, four atoms uh, sorry four electrons are there in the outermost shell and due to that these unpaired electrons will be pairing with the another carbon atom with the same four covalent uh, four electrons in the outermost shell that means the four electron from this uh, carbon atom and four electrons from this another uh, atom and this when they are come closer to each other the formation of the covalent bonds are to be four and due to this as the outermost shell contains the four electrons the carbon atom is also going to be as an a uh, little bit uh, uh, four covalent bonds are to be there 
Now these foreign covalent bonds are having the equal strength as previously I told you as far as in the water the two covalent bonds are there they are having the equal strength as here the four covalent bonds are going to be formed the strength is also going to be distributed in equal way. So the four covalent bonds are having the equal strength uh, for the all the uh, covalent bonds are to be there. Now <clears throat> if you look at this uh, uh, bonding is going to be there in this case the covalent bonds are going to be concerned here the very important factor as far as the ccc bond angle is in between them is nothing but to be 109 degree 28 minutes uh, are to be there so here the case where it is to be the degree is not uh, occurred here the 109 in this this is what the angle it is shown here as far as this uh, uh, sp3 hybridized uh, uh, particularly orbitals are to be there and uh, why it is sp3 is to be there that one electron from the s and the three electrons from the p state is to be there and as they are very closer to each other they are having the this uh, transformation of the electrons are to be there and this carbon atom is uh, uh, as far as in the diamond are sp3 sp3 hybridized we can say and all that are having to be as an bonding angle is nothing but to be 109 degree and 28 minutes are to be there. These four sp3 hybridized uh, your uh, orbitals are to be as an uh, in the carbon are to be along the corners of the your tetrahedron is to be there. And this uh, particularly case is going to be occur in the um, silicon, germanium or the tin is to be there. And if you look at this uh, germanium and the silicons are to be there, it is also known to be as an semiconductors are to be there. As this uh, type of the uh, covalent bonding is going to be formed in the silicon and germanium, the uh, whatever be the semiconductor properties are also going to be shown in this case. As the low temperature it works as a good insulator and for the higher temperature it works as a good conductors are to be there. Now in this case the binding energy is also to be very much strong it is nearly 7.4 electron volt and the melting <coughs> and the boiling point is also going to be high because the energy is so much high and due to that this uh, uh, bonding or the covalent bonds are having high melting and the boiling point is to be there. As far as the conductivity part is going to be concerned as I told you that the, as the temperature is going on increasing this conductivity also goes on increasing as i told you in the as far as the semiconductor part is going to be there uh, they are uh, insulator means uh, no conduction as far as the low temperature is to be there but that the temperature is going on increasing the conductivity is to be there shown and that's how it is showing that conductivity is proportional to the uh, temperature that is as the conductivity goes on increasing with the increase in the temperature is to be there so this is uh, what the sp3 hybridization or the uh, covalent bonds are going to be formed so uh, these are the very simple one bonds again as far as the covalent bonds are going to be formed so as far as the covalent bonds are to be there it is sharing of electrons are to be there but in the ionic bond we have seen these uh, ionic bonds are going to be formed due to the transfer of electron from the one atom to another atom and the whatever be the electronic configuration is to be there it is equivalent to the inert gases are to be there and that is also we have seen in the previous session that is ionic bonds are to be there ionic bonds are also to be stronger one covalent bonding is also to be the stronger one strongest bonds are to be there and they are having nearly 7.4 electron volt binding energy is to be there so thank you very much for the today's session and be at home and be safe thank you